Hello everyone and welcome back to another revision video. This week we are going to be looking at factors that affect the success of a business within the hospitality and catering industry. So let's get on with the top 10. The first thing to know is that there are 12 factors that affect the success of a business. They are the cost, profit, economy, environmental issues, technology, emerging and innovative cooking techniques, customer demographic and lifestyle, customer service, trends, political factors and the media. So they are the 12 things that affect the success of a business. Okay, so now we're going to go through some of the factors that affect a business. And the first one we're gonna talk through is cost. Now we all know that businesses have lots of different costs. Okay, if we're looking at hospitality and catering, uh, things such as ingredients, uh, labour as in staff, bills and utilities, lighting, water, gas, etc. And material costs like cleaning solutions and napkins and cutlery. There's two key terms here that I want you to know. And one is fixed costs and the other is variable costs. Okay, so when we're looking at fixed costs, things like the utility bills, the water, the electric, the gas, uh, rent and insurances. They stay the same, okay? So it's the same monthly payment, month after month after month. Okay, they may increase yearly with inflation, but on the whole, they are fixed costs. Then you've got variable costs. These are things like the cost of ingredients, and that will depend on how much business the company actually does. We know that if a company sells more, does more business, they can buy in bulk and the price decreases slightly. Number three, then, you need to know what profit is. Again, there are two key terms that I want you to know. The first is gross profit, and that's the money that has been left after the cost of the food has been deducted for the sales income. And the net profit is the money that has been left after all of the expenses have been deducted from the sales income. So that's things like the bills, the staff costs, etc. So that's the difference between gross profit and net profit. For then, that's about the economy. You need to understand how the economy can affect the success of a business. Four things I want to talk to you about. The first one is VAT. You need to know what VAT is, and that's value added tax at the minute. Uh, that stands at 20% and that is then added to the price of goods and services. Next is the value of the pound and the exchange rate. So as this fluctuates, it may influence businesses because it might have an impact on the visitors that are coming over from different countries. If it's a good exchange rate, it may encourage visitors and if it's quite low, they might stay away. So that in turn is going to affect our businesses in this country. Then we've got supply and demand. So things like, I don't know, bad weather, okay? Things out of our control. If it's bad weather, people might not be going out as much. They might not be going to businesses, to companies, uh, to restaurants, bars, pubs, etc. And they might not be spending that money. Um, and that will then in turn have an effect on the profit of those businesses. And if the demand isn't there, and people aren't buying as much from the suppliers, the cost of ingredients might go up, okay? So your companies might be spending more money than they would have done previous. And the last thing is the strength of the economy. So if the economy is strong, that will generally mean that people have more money to spend and will, of course, bring in more profit to your business. Number five, I just want to touch on environmental factors. Now we all know being environmentally friendly is a big thing right now. There's a big push across the globe for us to be more environmentally friendly, for us to think more a little bit about where we source our ingredients, what we eat, uh, we're trying to decrease our food miles, etc. So environmental factors could have a big influence on how successful a business is. Now, if we take a company, for example, that's trying to be more sustainable, that may appeal to the public more and they may get more income. At the minute, that's what people are looking for. Um, menus, which include seasonal food, seasonal produce, and showing that a company is more environmentally aware. 
Okay, number six is packaging. Now, if a company is trying to make more sensible choices in terms of packaging, they're trying to reduce their plastic use, and be more environmentally friendly, then that may appeal more to, pub to the public and may in turn attract more custom. So companies at the minute are trying to save energy, they're trying to save money, okay, and they're trying to reduce the use of natural resources. Number seven, there is technology. And we all know that technology is rapidly evolving and for a company to be successful, they need to keep up with the technology that's available. Things like computer programs, online systems, uh, deliveries where people can order online and get delivered to the house. If we're talking about hotels now, some hotels are using mobile phones as a keyless entry system so you can use your phone to get into your room of your hotel. And these are the sorts of things that com companies need to keep up with if they're gonna stay on top of the competition and be successful in the industry. Okay, moving on to number eight, we're going to talk a little about emerging and innovative cooking techniques. International cuisines now are becoming very popular in the UK. So foods that are from Sri Lanka, for example, take different types of cooking techniques and methods uh, that we're not used to using so much in the UK. Companies are having to adapt to new trends and popularities in order to keep up with the competition and attract that custom that's going to bring in the profit. Customers really like to try new foods, so companies really have to stay on track with what's popular. For example, at the minute, vegan foods are really popular, and the demand for that is increasing rapidly. Bars are starting to serve things like healthy green smoothies, and you'll get some restaurants now swapping out your typical carbohydrates, pastas, potatoes, rice, etc., for a vegetable alternative like courgette or cauliflower rice. Number nine, very briefly then, is about political factors. Now, policies, laws and regulations all have an impact on how successful a business can be. Let's take, for example, Brexit. There's a lot of uncertainty at the minute about Brexit and the effect that's going to have on the companies and the businesses within the UK. It could be that the cost of food increases. It could be that the amount of EU nationals that we employ in the hospitality industry at the minute decreases. And it could be that the value of the pound fluctuates. All these things and more uh, will have an impact on how successful a business can be within the UK. The last one then, number 10, is media. And we all know how important media and promotion is to a business. Now, to be successful, companies really need to get on board with promoting through media. And that could be uh, advertisements on TV, that could be through socials, that could be through the use of search engines, um, websites, use of delivery services, etc. So media plays a massive role in the success of a business within the hospitality and catering industry in the UK. Okay, everyone, that's my top 10, the factors affecting the success of a business. Join me in the next video, which will be all about understanding how the hospitality and catering provision operates. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.